Welcome everyone. To set up health, let's start by opening the app. And from here, if you see this screen, let's use the on-screen instructions. So I'm going to tap on continue. And then it's going to ask you to enter in your information. This won't be uh, shared with Apple, so you don't need to worry. Once you've entered your information, let's tap on done. If you did not get the option to enter in your health details, to edit them at any time, just tap on your profile picture and then health details and then edit and then you can edit your information right here. So from here you can see more instructions such as set up your medical ID, set up sleep, all of this stuff. So let's go through one by one. So I'm going to get started with the medical ID. You can add any medical conditions you have, your blood type, organ donor, emergency contacts. And this is useful for a couple of reasons. First reason is if someone gets your iPhone and you lost it, if they go to the power menu, you can see that they can slide to access your medical ID. You can see this one right here. And so you can see this information. This would be useful if someone wanted to you know, try and get your iPhone back to you. But uh, keep in mind, it won't share your email. And on top of this, if there is an emergency, this medical ID information would help emergency services as they would be able to access your medical ID. So you just go through, add this all, and then select done. Now we have sleep, so let's get started here. And let's go next. And so if you don't have an app watch, what sleep will do is it's going to set a time when your notifications are gonna be silenced, when you go to bed, and then it will set a time when you wake up, which is when the alarm will play. So let's say I want eight hours of sleep. We're gonna add a schedule on when we sleep and wake up. And you can see when this schedule is active because maybe in the weekends, you know, you're gonna wake up later. So you just set this as you want. And if you slide from the edges, you can change the hours of sleep. You can add a wake up alarm and the snooze option. Then we'll select add. And if you, you know, let's say Saturday and Sunday, you wake up later, uncheck those and then add a schedule for other days. You can see right here. Then we can change that. We wake up later and then we'll go next. And then sleep screen. So what this does this is going to hide your notifications. So I'll show you what this does. So if I go out of here, what it will do is you'll have to swipe up to see your notifications. And you can see you have to tap again to actually see what those are. And that just helps with the uh, distractions. So you can have this one on or off. And then wind down is when the notifications will start hiding. So let's say your sleep is at nine. If you have a 45 minute wind down, then your notifications will be hidden at 8.15. Okay, so I'll enable this one. Set up shortcuts. It's up to you, I'm gonna skip this one. And then you can see the details here. If you have an Apple Watch, you must have this sleep set up because the Apple Watch only tracks your sleep in between your bedtime and when you wake up. So if you have a midday nap, the Apple Watch will not track this. So we'll tap on down for that. And then in the uh, data here, it will just show, you know, whether you're using your phone or not. And if you have an Apple Watch, it will show your sleep as well. So let's go out of here. And we can go through each individual one you see there's more options like trend notifications. If we enable this, cool. And then wind down the shortcuts. There's a lot of stuff to set up here. 
each one has on-screen instructions but the important stuff is sharing so if we go to sharing here you can share your health data with someone so they can see you know, how often you've been sleeping if you have an apple watch they'll be able to see your heart rate over time your blood pressure your blood oxygen levels all the stuff the apple watch can track if you have one they will be able to see so if you select share you will need iCloud on. I don't have this one on on this device, but let me get a phone which has iCloud. So this device right here is the iCloud. You can see I've added the Apple ID for my mob account. But you could do friends or family. You could also share with a doctor. But I've noticed this doesn't always work because you have to sign in with a website which supports this, which most don't. If we add another person, just add the contact, add the Apple ID. Let's cancel here. If we tap on who we are sharing with, you can choose what you are sharing. You can see what you want to share, what you don't want to share. You can customize this and you can stop at any time. And in the browse, you can just go through all of the health categories and look at your data a lot of this stuff though requires the apple watch but some stuff does not and that is the basic rundown with that being said if you'd like to help support the channel please do check the description bye bye